Good day, my dear students. I am Mr. Paulo Fisguera, your teacher in Science 9. Let's bow our head and feel the presence of our Lord. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we offer to you our class today. We pray that through your divine guidance, we will learn how to listen attentively to the inputs of our teacher. May we appreciate his effort in imparting his knowledge to us. May we participate actively in the discussions and activities so we could learn more while having fun. May we value each other's contributions as a building block towards harmony and peace. Grant that as we interact with one another, we recognize the fact that all our learning activities should be accomplished for your greater glory. Grant that we recognize you in each of our classmates and teachers. As we leave for home, we pray that you keep us safe from harm and illnesses, and we would be able to apply correctly what we have learned from school. All this we ask in your powerful name. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For today's lesson, we will be dealing about the types of volcano. But first, let's determine what is volcano. Volcanoes are often cone-shaped, but they can take other shapes too. So, Ang volcano po natin ay iba-iba pa rin ang itsura. So, malalaman natin mamaya kung ano po ba ang um, factors kung bakit po nag -iba, iba yung shape ng ating volcano. But, ang ating pong volcano ay mostly they are cone-shaped. And they are formed when molten sticky rock called magma forces its way through a crack in Earth's crust. And the melted rock that spills out of the crater on the top of the volcano is called lava. The lava destroys everything in its path because it is very, very hot. So, alam naman natin nung ating previous video na yung pong magma ay yung pong uh, molten materials or melted materials na nasa ilalim ng ating lupa. And kapag naman sinabi po nating lava, ayun po ay nasa labas ng ating Earth surface. So, ayun po ang difference ng dalawang yan. Where do volcanoes happen? Most volcanoes are formed on land, but there are some volcanoes that are on the ocean floor. Some of these volcanoes emerge from the water because they are very high. So, hindi lang po pala nakikita natin yung volcanoes sa, ila, sa ibabaw ng ating lupa. Kundi meron din tayong mga volcanoes sa ilalim ng lupa. At ayun po ay tinatawag natin na ridges. R-I-D-G-E-S. Ridges. So, malalaman po natin yan in our next video. So, ayan po yung itsura ng ating po mga... Uh, volcanoes sa mga tubig. And why does a volcano erupt? A volcano erupts when magma and gases finds a way to escape. So, they burst to the surface through a vent. So, alam naman natin na kapag matindi po ang pressure and temperature ng ating pong uh, material, sila po ay kailangang mag-release o um, palamigin ng kaunti at saka po pa tanggalin ng pressure. So, ang way po nila para matanggal po yung pressure and yung temperature din po ay mapababa ay sila po ay mag -e erupt So, ayun po ang ginagamit ng volcano. So, imagine nyo na lang kapag meron tayong um, tubig na pinapakulo sa takore yung nagwi-whistle. So, they whistle because the temperature and the pressure inside the kettle are 
increases. So, kapag po tumaas yung pressure and temperature, syempre, lalabas, maglalabas siya ng um, energy. And paano siya maglalabas ng energy? So, hahanap siya ng butas. At yung butas na yon ay yung pong ating um, takip do sa ating kettle. Doon sa, kaya po nagwi-whistle yung ating um, takore. So, ganun din po sa ating volcano. Kaya po siya nag-e-erap kasi nga po yung pong pressure and temperature ay i-re-release. Very good. Next, we have two types of eruption. So, first type is the explosive eruption. Kapag sinabi natin explosive eruption, there are mainly um, releases tephra. Tephra, T-E-P-H-R-A, or the pyroclastic materials. So, ayun po yung explosive eruption. Naglalabas po siya ng mga rock fragments. Compare sa ating quiet eruption na mostly lava flow lang. So, wala po mga rock fragments na lumalabas kapag tayo ay nag-e-erupt o kapag nag-e-erupt po yung volcano. Mostly po ay tumutulo lang para siyang kondensada na tumutulo do sa ating lata. So, yung lata natin ay yung mismong volcano. So, again, the two types of eruption, we have explosive and quiet eruption. Next, we have the first type of volcano, which is the shield volcano. So, when we say shield volcano, ito po yung pinakang largest na volcano and they are mostly fluid lava flows. So, ito po yung mga lava flows na yan. Kaya po ganyan po itsura niya, kaya po siya parang shield. Nung katulad ng kay Captain America na Paganon po ang shape. So, padoon po siya ang shape pero hindi po siya steep. Kapag sinabi po natin steep kasi, ayun po ay uh, matarik. So, sabi po dyan, it is the calmest of the eruption. So, bakit calmest? Kasi po, ano kaya sa tingin nyo ang type ng kanyang eruption? Explosive or quiet? Very good. We have the quiet eruption. So, mainly ang shield volcano ay gawa sa quiet eruption o sa mga lava na nanigas lang. So, kapag po nag-erupt yung ating pong um, volcano and then nagkaroon po siya ng quiet eruption, so yung po mga lava na um, inilabas niya ay manunuyo o titigas. So, magiging part po yun ng volcano. And kapag tumigas po yun, part na din po siya, kaya po nag-iiba po yung shape ng ating mga volcano. So again, shield volcano po ay the calmest and mostly gawa po siya sa fluid lava flows. And shield volcanoes are the largest volcanoes on earth but are not very steep. Bakit po largest? Kasi nga po, gawa ng lava flow, syempre kapag kumakalat yung mga la ating mga lavas, ay naninigas siya. Nagiging, sabi ko nga sa inyo kanina, nagiging part siya ng volcano. Kaya po, lumalaki. Pero hindi po siya pataas o patarik. Siya po ay palapad. So, ayan po yung ating shield volcano. The best example is the Hawaiian Islands are composed of chains of shield volcano. So, ayan po ay nasa Hawaii. Kung makikita nyo po yun, ganun po mostly yung um, pagdikit-dikitin lang natin yung shield volcano natin. Kung mapapansin nyo po sa Hawaii, ay meron po mga shield volcanoes doon na dikit-dikit. Next, is the composite or stratovolcano. These volcanoes are typically tens of miles across and 10,000 or more feet in height. So, pag sinabi po natin 10,000, so napataas niya. Meaning, kung ito po ay not steep. So, ito naman po ay moderately steep side. So, tandaan po, not very steep. Dito naman po ay moderately steep side. So, kapag po moderate, siba, sabi natin, kapag tayo naninigarilo na inom, drink moderately. So, konti-konti lang. So, medyo matarik itong ating composite or stratovolcano. And kaya po tinawag to na stratovolcano, strato means layer. So, makakakita po kayo dyan ng layer of um, lava flows them. So, ayun po ay nagiging part din ng ating mga volcanoes. Kaya po sabi ko sa inyo kanina, ay iba-iba po ang shape ng ating volcano but they are mostly cone shape. So, ayan po ang ating composite volcano. So, the best example ng ating pong composite volcano ay ang Mount Vesuvius na nakadestroy po ng Pompeii and Mount St. Helens in Washington State. So, ayan po yung dalawang yan na best example ng ating composite volcano. And pwede din natin i-consider dito sa ating pong composite volcano ay yung ating, mga, yung ating Mayon Volcano. Next is the cinder cone volcano. Kapag sinabi po natin cinder cone volcano, these are small volcanoes usually only about a mile across and up to about 
thousand feet high, grainy cinders, and almost no lava. So meaning, ito po ay not very steep, moderately steep. Ito naman po ay yung mas steep na volcano. So ayan po, very stiff sides and usually have small crater on top. So ayan po yung crater, kitang kita po dyan yung crater natin sa ating pong cinder cone. Compare dito sa ating dalawang um, volcano na to. And again, ang ating pong type ng eruption dito po sa composite ay explosive eruption as well as the cinder cone volcano which has a um, explosive eruption din. So, dito po ay meron po tayo ditong cone. So, so uh, cinder cone volcano. And balik po tayo dito. Sabi daw dyan, yung pong ating cinder cone volcano ay mostly wala po siyang lava. Kasi nga, ang lava po ay mostly nagkakaroon lang po kapag po meron tayong quiet eruption. And kapag naman po sa cinder cone volcano, ay mostly yung mga tephra lang o yung mga rock fragments lang ang bumubuga. So, bumubuga yan o inire-release ng ating volcano. Kaya po, sabi dyan, ay mostly no lava. So, dito po, compared natin dito sa ating composite na meron pong lava, na pwede po siya maging part ng ating volcano. Mas marami po yung lava nito compared sa ating cinder cone volcano. Kasi po, itong ating composite volcano, marami siyang mga pipes, secondary pipes, compared dito sa cinder cone volcano, na isa lang po ang daanan, which is the primary pipe. Kasi nga po, Ayan po ay mostly um, contains cinder. Ayan po, grainy cinders. So, that's all for today. I hope na natutunan nyo po yung pong ating different types ng eruption as well as the different types of volcano. See you on our next video. Bye-bye! Let's bow our head and feel the presence of our Lord. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.